Hey there guys and welcome to the channel, we hope you're having a wonderful time so far, and if you're not then maybe we'll be able to fix that since today we're going to be talking about the 6 reasons why Chun-Li might quit Pawn Stars. Before we get into the video though, go ahead and leave a like on it if you like Pawn Stars, and make sure to subscribe while hitting the bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever we release daily videos. Also, make sure to let us know in the comment section below that you subscribed so that you can be featured in a video shoutout at the end of the month. With all that said guys, let's go ahead and get right into the 6 reasons why Chum Lee might quit Pawn Stars. Number 1. Candy Shop Hello, welcome to Chum Lee's Candy on the Boulevard. Um, this candy shop is going to be ran by my brother and myself. It's our new business venture. Chum Lee has recently opened his own candy shop near the pawn shop. He sells candies that were from the 1950s and 60s over at that location. By having the pawn shop and the candy shop right next to each other, he can sell his candy to the people in the waiting line to go to the pawn shop. Since he has his own business, which he only has the help from his younger brother to keep the shop open, he will not have enough time to work at the pawn shop as well. But by leaving the pawn shop, he would end up having more time to work at his own candy shop. This would mean more money for his own business, and more time to think of ways to bring in more personal profit. This is, at the very least, an incredibly interesting business venture, considering that at the original pawn shop, they have a high amount of patronage. So by starting his own candy shop nearby, he can at least continue to help with the volume of the store by giving some of the people waiting in line something to do and or buy. It does, however, bring up the question of why one wouldn't simply open up their candy shop inside the pawn shop itself if there were some space that could be allocated for it. If you're going to be serving the same customers anyway, why not do everything on location? There might be a reason behind this decision though, and I think that leads us directly into our number two. Number two, not responsible. Even though Chum Lee brings the light and fun to the pawn shop by being his foolish self, Chum Lee has made multiple mistakes in the past at the pawn shop. There was one time, before the show itself started airing, that Chum Lee had pawned a stand-up base for $700. A few days later, he had knocked it over and broke the expensive base. Instead of admitting what he had done right away, he decided to place the broken pieces of the base into a box and put the box onto a shelf as if nothing had ever happened. When the owner of the base came back to pick it up, he was absolutely furious that it had been broken. So the shop had to make a check of $20,000 out to the owner since that was the regular price of that instrument and how much it would have costed had it never been broken in the first place. With a mistake like that, you can certainly see why he's got a chip on his shoulder, and he should probably reconsider if he wants to keep working at the pawn shop. But it is for this reason that we have to wonder if the candy shop venture isn't another ill-informed idea. Number 3. Chum Lee Arrested When the show was at its highest peak in ratings and viewership, Chum Lee had ended up being called out for a sexual assault allegation. When the cops went to his home for a search, they found that Chum Lee had 12 different kinds of illegal arms and illegal substances within his possession as well. With these fines, Chum Lee had no choice but to do three months of probation. Even though Chum Lee was not accused of sexual assault, this still looked bad on Chum Lee himself. By these allegations, he may have made the company and Pawn Stars as a result look bad due to his personal reputation. We hate to keep going back to the idea of the candy shop, but honestly, when you've got stuff like this on your record, it's hard to say that opening up a business on your own, on your own merits, is necessarily a good idea. This is probably another reason why it might not be a good idea for him to strike out on his own with the candy shop. Unfortunately though, it's equally likely that this would be one of the reasons that he would end up having to quit Pawn Stars. It's kind of like being stuck between a rock and a hard place, where your bad decisions might lead you to need to leave the company in order to save face, but it also prevents you from starting your own company because that face has been so tarnished. We do feel for the guy, especially considering that he was innocent of the sexual assault allegation. Number 4. Bad Deals When Chum Lee is up at the counters, he always ends up making bad deals at the pawn shop. Chum Lee would always try to pay for expensive amounts of stuff 
that really shouldn't cost anywhere near as much as he wants to give for them. Most of the time, Chumley will guess something is worth a lot of money, then simply having an expert come over and confirm its price to make sure that his guesses were correct. This leads to him sometimes spending an exorbitant amount on items that are honestly worth a fraction of what he's putting into them. Even though he just overpays for something for so little, small mistakes eventually end up adding up and make the company lose a lot of money. This is why the old man is always upset whenever Chum Lee is on the show. It's always a problem whenever you've got somebody in the shop who is a liability, but that problem is only expounded when that liability is shown on public television every day. We can at least empathize with the old man in situations like this, since we know how hard it must be to deal with having somebody on the show when you're supposed to be making incredibly good deals and then turning them over for a profit if this person is constantly losing the company money and not allowing you guys to get a profit at all. With that said though, this might actually be a point in favor of him opening up his own candy shop. It's a whole lot harder to make bad deals if you're actually working on your own and you're working with things that have a fixed price. At that point, the only person who has any possibility of screwing you over is your vendor. Number 5. Not Wise Enough Even though Chum Lee makes mistakes, he really doesn't seem to learn from them. It seems that he doesn't actually care about his job. In one season, Chum Lee even bought fake art for $300. With Chum Lee always guessing the amounts for the price that something is worth, it doesn't help the shop at all. It also hurts considering the fact that since a lot of the people who come to the shop have watched the show before, it's easy for them to see who they need to exploit within the shop. It's really bad when you know that somebody's going to come in and just wait for Chum Lee to be working the counter in order to exploit him because he's very lazy at what he does. Again, this adds another point to the old man's repertoire in reasons why Chum Lee might be a bit of a liability. One point though, Rick had to take a time out of his day to teach Chum Lee how to tell if a piece of art was actually real or not. Every single time you buy a piece of fake art, the shop inevitably loses money. The old man was incredibly close to firing Chum Lee if he didn't pass the test of picking out the real painting that Rick had set up for him. Luckily, he did end up passing the test, otherwise Chum Lee wouldn't be on the job anymore. It is still unfortunate, however, when Chum Lee has been working at this job for a while and Rick is able to spot good art that is not fake. When you have peers around you who can so easily teach you how to avoid situations that are incredibly embarrassing, it's very frustrating for the team when you are constantly still doing those things. And finally, number six, he's just not good at his job. When Chum Lee tries to strike deals with people, the crew end up just shaking their heads at him. Trying to watch him earn the shop any money is honestly painful for everybody involved. When trying to deal with someone, you don't try to make the seller think that you're excited or interested in the item that you're selling. That makes them think that they can sell it for more. It's honestly better whenever you're trying to sell something to maintain a poker face so that you can maintain a level of power in the engagement. If you don't do this, the seller will end up being confident enough to raise the price and get the money that they want as opposed to helping you, the person responsible for your business, to earn the money that your business needs. Unfortunately for Chum Lee, he always seems to get excited in front of the camera and off. He gets excited to the point that he raises the price of his own higher than what the seller offers, which is certainly not a good way to make a deal. But with that said everyone, that has been the six reasons why Chum Lee might just quit Pawn Stars. Which reason do you find most compelling? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, make sure to leave a like on the video and share it with your friends, it honestly helps the channel out a lot. Past that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever our videos come out every day. Also let us know in the comment section below that you subscribed so that you can be featured in a video shoutout at the end of the month. With that said, we really hope that you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one.